Well, the internet, I'm driving home again, and that means it's vlogging time. This will be uh, the Teach Thought 30 Day Reflective Challenge Day number 20. Since I'm so late, I figure I'll just do them in what order I want now. This one is uh, similar to the one uh, about student reflection. It is all about how do I curate students' work or get them, uh, help them do it, how to student curation of work. And this one is another area where I don't do really the best job. I have, I have some uh, projects that they do and then they'll sort of look through them and present them. But as far as like curating and really making like a collection of this is my best stuff, I kind of do that a little bit with the portfolio. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about that. Uh, I've, I've been playing around with the idea of having kids grade other groups' work, but it always turns into like, you know, a popularity contest. Well, this group has all my friends, so they get an A. And this group has all my frenemies, so they get an A. And this group has all the kids that I really hate, but I'm gonna stick it to the man, they'll still get a B plus. So maybe if I come up with sort of some sort of rubric situation where um, it's just for feedback to the students and it doesn't impact their grade, maybe their peers are more likely to be honest. I, I don't know. Those are, those are some things I should, I should kick around. So yeah, curating student work. Uh, I don't do it. <laughs> that's, that's what I was going for. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you have any ideas of how I should or shouldn't or could curate student work, let me know in the uh, comment and or video response type regions of YouTube. Thanks for watching.